Coming up next on This Week in iPad, HBO and Sony share the love, and Jacob Burt goes missing. Hello everyone and welcome to This Week in iPad. I'm your host Michelle Hummel. You can follow me on Twitter at Michelle Hummel. And our host today, Jacob Birch, is not going to be with us, but I brought a little buddy with me so we can feel like he is still here. So let's head right into some app reviews. Loaded bond, you might not like how it runs. So my first app review today is the HBO Go app. This is a much anticipated app. It just came out on April 28th. There's already 1,700 reviews on it, getting about a 3.5 rating. You have to be an HBO subscriber, and that kind of depends because some of the cable outlets are not providing it. I happen to be a direct TV subscriber, so what you would do is you go into the app, and I've already I actually put in my username and password, but you do the username and password for your cable provider, which would, for me was DirecTV. You also have to then create an ID for Go. Um, it seems like some people were tripping up on this. Some people were signing up on the HBO Go website, and then when you would log into the app, it actually would not register. Um, I did notice, though, very quick response from the HBO um, Go Twitter account. People would, you know, send in comments and questions and they were responding right away and it seemed like it was getting right back on track. Also, so what you do basically you, so you're all logged in. Um, HBO is an amazing network. We've got the preview here. On the home page, it's going to show us a little bit of everything interactive. You can kind of move your screen around back and forth to see the movies, to see the series. I happen to be a huge fan of all the HBO series. So for me, something that's really cool is that if I didn't happen to maybe record uh, Boardwalk Empire, I can go back in here, select the show. It's going to show me all of the episodes of season one. I can play those. The streaming is excellent. Um, you can play the episode right away. You can preview it. Um, you can get more info, which for me, this is kind of the little faulty area that I was that I was thinking of. Basically, you can get more info on the episode, and it's kind of weak when it comes to the cast and crew. Um, I would like to see a little bit more information where I can click through and learn a little bit about more each one. But for the most part, um, you do get some nice features. You get some extras. You get previews, which I really liked. Um, comedy, sports, documentaries. So in movies, you get a choice of all the movies that are playing on HBO at that moment. And it kind of goes back to the last couple months. I've seen these in the last couple months. You can pick them, or you can actually send them to your watch list. You can create programs right there to put to your watch list. You can edit them. You can remove them. You can add. Um, you can also, um, when you go into series, you can get a series pass. So when new episodes come out for, say, I'm kind of awaiting True Blood to come out, kind of scroll down, um, find True Blood here. You do have to wait, though. I, I did find this feature a little confusing. Um, I have no option to create a series pass here, but when I did go to the help to find out, it told me that you can't create a series pass until the actual new series has started. So you will have to wait for the True Blood. It's just not going to automatically load into your, to your watch list. But for me, as a fan of True Blood, it's really nice to see some of the extra features. But you do have to click More Info to see those extra features. Um, got to see a really cool um, True Blood, Allen Ball, and Cast QA. Really easy to stream. I really liked it overall. Um, I did have some problem with some graininess, and it seems like, but for the most part, this has been really, people are, seem to be really enjoying it. I saw a lot of people tweeting about it. I saw Drew Carey um, tweet about it, that he loves it. A lot of people already addicted to it, feel like they're to be watching it pretty much every night. Yes, so let's go on to my next app, which is Crackle. Now this was created by Sony Entertainment. Um, this is kind of a, a version for, let's say you just want to watch some good old movies from the past or some that you maybe didn't get a chance to see. You're going to be able to get all of these free movies. This app is free. 
So you get the, the movies, um, you get TV shows. They've got uh, Married with Children, Jailbreak, Angel Death, Seinfeld, which is really fun. So you can kind of catch up on some old things, you know, that maybe you wouldn't actually be able to do. Let's say you don't have time to, you know, you don't have a subscri subscription to Netflix. Uh, this is kind of a, a good app to, to do that with. Um, you can browse really easily, alphabetically. You can filter um, by genre. Get some info. You can create a queue. I felt that this app took a little bit longer to, to load. Um, and it's a little confusing. Sometimes you've got to click a lot to get to what you want to see. Um, but at the end of the day, it takes a little bit, but it does load. Looks pretty good. Some of the old movies obviously aren't in HD, so it's not as nice, but you can actually make this wider screen. Watch some wolves. So that is Crackle. I would give that one probably a three. I'll probably stick to watching the HBO app. And those are the only two apps we're going to review today. Hopefully next week I've got my buddy Jacob Birch back. But thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to us on iTunes and follow us at Twitter. We'll see you next week.